First step is to plug in ET dongle and change these index controller icons to ET icons. There you go. Now you're ready to start connecting. Let's start by turning on the ET controllers by holding down the power button till you see the blue lights come on. Once you have that, repeat the process for the other side. You will see the blue light gradually turn to breathing purple. This means the controllers are connected. Steam VR will also let you know by showing flashing icons in their window. Once you have that, let's turn on the trackers by pressing the power button. Once they're on, right click on controller icon, pair controller. When you see this window, we can start putting tracker on pairing mode. We do this by holding down power button till it flashes blue. And there we go, tracker one is connected. Let's repeat this process for the other side. Turn on the tracker first by pressing the power button. Pair another controller. Change it into pairing mode by holding down the power button. Once it turns green, you will see all the icons in the Steam VR window shown solid as well, confirming the connection. Now that controllers are connected, we need to ensure that tracker role assignment is disabled. We do this through going to settings, controllers, manage trackers, and we disable the tracker assignment role here. This will make sure ET driver can take care of the rest by reassigning tracker role to our controllers. Now that's done, let's see ET in action.